here we are, back with another Let's Play, and, uh... What a better way to get back into it than with an anime girl dating sim. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing. But I've heard... murmurs about this game. I... I don't know what to expect from it. I've just heard that it's something that I need to play, so... I decided why not record it. So let's, let's begin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter my name. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just enter that. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh goodness. This is a mistake. Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, I see an annoying girl running to me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Ah, yes, classic. You know, the type of friend you never see yourself. Uh, you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Ah, yes. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. Or of waiting up. Okay, yeah. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, okay. First person. I overslept again. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Should I read every single line? I don't. I. I don't exactly do good female voices. But uh. Okay. Maybe. But only beside. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. I don't know how to. I don't know how to play dating sims. But I'm just gonna. Oh goodness. I shouldn't have entered my real name. The fact them referring to me directly is is kind of strange. Oh, that's me, Luke. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Yes, I did. Uh, I guess you don't have it into you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Luke, have you decided on a club to join yet? <laughs> a club? I told you. Oh no, that's me. I told you already. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. Ah, yes. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. <laughs> uh, it's... Oh, okay. Apparently I'm gonna join a club. I wonder which one. Uh, I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sarah likes to worry a bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content by getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. This game knows me too well. <laughs> uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. I don't know how to do female voices, just bear with me. Let's see, uh, your happiness is really important to me, you know? Uh, I know you're happy now, but I died the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> this is silly. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll look, if, I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Gosh, this game. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Oh goodness, here we are. School days is no ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. They already wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, <laughs> Sayori. Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I, I can't do female voices. I hope this isn't too annoying. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you may, might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, you could come to my club! 
Sayori. Yeah! <laughs> There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> ah! Meanie! <laughs> God, the face. I can't get over that face. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Ah, yes. The literature club. I see. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the, inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, <laughs> I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new member, and... Oh, what is that? Natsuki, okay. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything! <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Yeah. This this game no it's, it's like it's like I actually am in this game. It's kind of kind of silly. I can't tell. Uh, no, no, no. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's cunning to have planned all of this out. Ah, yes, she has a plan. I don't know. <sighs> uh, fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, and thus today marks the day that I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> that sounds like me. Uh, I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Hey everyone, the new member is here! Aw, oh, this, this song is pretty jam. I believe it's the title screen song as well, though. I like it. Anyway. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? Uh, I glance around the room. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just labeled girl one. I mean, I guess I don't know their names yet or whatever. Uh, what, what's her voice? Welcome to Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sari always says nice things about you. Seriously? You bought a, bought a boy? <laughs> I have terrible voices. Uh... Way to kill the atmosphere. She does seem kind of sassy. Ah, oh, Luke, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! How does she know me? I don't know her. All words escape me in this situation. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh god. Oh god, it has begun. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! Sorry. Uh, Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is a oh no, that's that's me. The girl with the sour attitude, <laughs> whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. God, I have to remember these names. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, uh, okay. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. I don't know if I can give them separate voices, so you guys will probably just have to pay attention to who's talking. <laughs> oh god. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Alright. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Manika, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Luke. I don't know you. Manika smiles sweetly. Oh, okay. This is... Uh, we do know each other. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Manika was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Mon Monica. I guess it's not Monica, it'd be Monica. I don't know, the K is throwing me off. I'll go with Monica, I think. Come sit down, Luke. We've made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them! I'll get them! <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> ah, yes. Then how about I make some tea as well? Yes, okay. Wow. Wait, tea? Why tea? Did they have, like, boiling water around? A kettle? 
Ah, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it has been widened, so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches to the back of the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! <laughs> I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Surya grabs one first, then Mon Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Surya talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She's waiting. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Have, haven't I heard this somewhere before? I've seen too many animes to let this one go. You're an archetype. I can, I can feel it. Huh. Made them for you or anything? <laughs> I, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe, but not for you, you know, you dummy. <laughs> uh, classic stuff here. This is this is about as, as classic as it gets. I give up on Nasuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the cable, or to the table, carrying a tea set. Tea set, oh, okay. She carefully places a teacup in, in front of each of us before stepping down, or setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole- <laughs> yeah, this is a good question. You keep a whole set of tea in, or a whole tea set in this classroom? Uh, Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. My voices are not going to be consistent. Uh, that, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I- I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I, I at least enjoy tea. I don't actually enjoy tea in real life, never much. I don't like the taste of hot water. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica ra raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica what I was, that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make you feel right at home, okay? As president of a literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Thanks, Monica. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about public and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. <laughs> Monica is a really great leader. <laughs> they all have the same voice. Yuri nods in agreement. Yeah, Yuri nods in agreement. Okay. Then I'm surprised there aren't many people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. No many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. <laughs> <sighs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. <laughs> Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Although I still really don't know if I can keep up with their letter level of enthusiasm about literature. So Luke, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, 
considering the, how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Okay, now this is accurate, because I hardly ever read, and I'm not huge into literature in general. So if I joined a literature club, it'd be something like this. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh boy, the dating sim. It's its beginning. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Uh, Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her, com her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Uh, okay. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, okay, alright. Ah, I, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri! For someone as gentle as you! Uh, I guess... I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! <laughs> oh, why is that? Well, I just... Mitsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's a terrible voice, I apologize. Uh, that's right. I have too low of a voice to do these high voices, but I'll do- I'm, I'm doing my best. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Well, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. <laughs> and give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori si sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Why do you care? <laughs> I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Nutsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing makes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. <laughs> Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nutsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Oh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Okay, yes. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now we have a new member. I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other. And strengthen the bond of the club! Isn't that right, Luke? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining a club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. <laughs> Siri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> Luke, you, you all... I'm defenseless against... Uh, oh, no, yeah. I, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Uh, hormones! 
What <laughs> that is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <sighs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yeah, I'm so happy! Sawyer so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. You really just came for the cupcakes. I'd be super pissed. <laughs> that makes it official, yes. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Luke, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre, or mediocre writing skills? I always feel the anxiety welling up inside me. I, I already. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Luke, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monika. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Every day? Most clubs don't don't meet every day. That's that's a lot of time. Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Oh. Does that mean I have to make like a choice at some point? How how's that choice gonna reflect on me as a person? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man. This episode's going on for a while though. We finished the first day, and so I think we're gonna move on to the next episode. See you then. Hope you enjoyed the first episode. This game's gonna it's gonna be pretty nuts. All right. See you next episode.